is your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the dry weather should continue right through the weekend. The next chance, well, through Sunday day, the next chance for rain coming up on Sunday night. When we take a look at the drought monitor, now this is updated once a week on Thursday. So this was updated last Thursday and a brand new one coming in for tomorrow. But when we look at the latest, you can see in, in essentially three categories. Yellow is abnormally dry from most of southern New England, but far northern part of the state and just to our north in the moderate to severe category right in here. And more than likely, when the new update comes out tomorrow, and we'll show it to you graphically during our newscast, that this will more than likely get expanded. Bottom line, that there's not much in the way of rain in the forecast over the next uh, roughly five to seven days. In Providence, it is a uh, quiet, partly cloudy, very comfortable, does not feel like an autumn night. Dry roads, temperatures that are in the 60s, in fact, well into the 60s in many areas. That includes 64 Providence and Smithfield. Coventry's at 62 and mid 60s across New Bedford and, and similar temperatures along the South Shore. We'll get down to about 59, 60 during the overnight. Now, one more warm day tomorrow. It's not a record breaker. It's not 77 like today, but it is up to 70 for a couple of hours. And while it's cooler on Friday, even that 63 is above average for this time of year. As mentioned, dry weather continues through a better part of the weekend. Sunday night, the next chance for some showers. Elevated brush fire risk continues. We keep saying this uh, night after night, really over the next several weeks, and it's pretty much the same theme here with no outdoor burning until further notice. So a warm day tomorrow afternoon. Pretty comfortable, though cooler on Friday and breezy. The coolest day being Saturday, and that's with all day sunshine, uh, 53, and then a slight moderation as we get into the latter part of the weekend and into early next week. Partly cloudy skies overhead right now. There's a cold front to our west, but it's not producing any precipitation. Yet another cold front that'll come through tomorrow dry without any moisture or showers. Technically, we are still in hurricane season through the end of November. Here is Florida Hurricane uh, Raphael. Now, normally in this position, uh, Florida would be very concerned, but the storm is actually moving away from the peninsula. Top winds at 105, moving northwest at 13. Long range forecast has it eventually uh, weakening to a tropical storm, kind of a due west track into the southwest part of the Gulf of Mexico by the latter part of the weekend. So we'll keep you updated on that. All right, closer to home, this front, where is it? Right in here, coming through dry tomorrow without any precipitation. Out ahead of it, still the very mild temperatures, shaded in yellow. Cooler air over the border in, Can uh, in uh, Canada and the, the upper part of the Great Lakes. That arrives here later in the week and towards the weekend. Move ahead to tomorrow afternoon. Here we go. More sunshine, unseasonably warm, upper 60s to lower 70s. Looks good tomorrow night. Uh, Friday, it's a bright day, a little on the breezy side, a bit cooler, but I mean, 64 this time of year, it's actually pretty comfortable. Heading out Friday night, weather looks real good. And then by Saturday, a noticeable cool down. This is Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Starts off at 37 with sunshine. About 55 degrees by Saturday afternoon. Tomorrow morning, another mild start. We're not talking about frost or freeze here. By 11 a.m., it's up to 68 with sunshine and topping out at around 70 for a couple of hours tomorrow afternoon with a good deal of sunshine and dry air. Here's kind of a snapshot of what the high temperatures should look like tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s to around 70. Look for the winds around uh, northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Beautiful breezy on Friday, bright, much cooler on Saturday, clouding up on Sunday, the day light hours stay dry showers Sunday night into Monday morning doesn't look heavy but we'll take every raindrop uh, temperatures on Sunday in the upper 50s uh, while rain is good we really need multiple rainstorms and right now we don't see that all right Tony thank you coming up next in sports